Hello friends and welcome to Seven Sense Aptitude Prep. I am Vinod Prabhu. In in this video, we look at some advanced problems on the profit and loss concept. If you haven't watched the earlier videos in this playlist, uh, request you to go in the same sequence videos one onwards because they look at the concept in easy problems. This particular set has some uh, tricky problems on uh, a dishonest shopkeeper and false wage, etc. Uh, it's interesting and solving this will ensure you have mastered uh, profit and loss and will definitely score uh, very high in your campus placements as well as your entrance exams. Okay, so this is the fifth video and we look at an advanced set in this particular uh, problem set. A shopkeeper who is dishonest tells everyone that he will sell at the cost price but he gives everyone 25% less in terms of weight. What is this profit or loss percentage? So one way to do it is you imagine for all of these shopkeeper type of problems where the weight is wrong or he's being dishonest, you count that the cost price for 1000 grams, okay, cost price for 1000 grams is 1000 rupees, okay. Now, he is telling everyone that he will sell it at CP. So for 1000 grams it is 1000 rupees which is the CP. He is telling everyone that he will sell at CP. Okay. But is he giving 1000 grams? No. He is giving everyone 25% less in terms of weight. What is 25% less of 1000 grams? It is 250. So what is he doing? He is selling it at 1000 rupees only but he is giving people less weight. So 750 grams is selling at 1000. 750 grams costs him how much? 1000 grams costs him 1000. 750 grams costs him only 750. So this is the CP. He's selling it at 1000. So this is the SP. So let me look at this concept once again. We when we get these shopkeeper problems, you come you assume that 1000 grams of that product costs 1000 rupees. Okay, so that is the CP. Now, he is telling people that he will sell at the cost price. So, he is selling it at 1000 rupees, but he is not giving 1000 grams. He is giving only 750 grams. Now, the cost price for the shopkeeper for 750 grams. So, 1000 grams it is costing 1000 rupees. For 750 grams it is costing only 750 rupees. But he is getting 1000 rupees in return. So, what is the profit? Profit is SP minus CP 1000 minus 750. The profit is 250. What is the profit percentage? So it is a profit. Profit percentage is profit by CP in 200. Profit is 250. CP is 750 into 100. Profit percentage when you simplify 100 by 3, 33.33 percent is the profit percentage. Why does he get the profit in spite of selling it at the cost price? It's because the weight given is not 1 kg. The weight given is only 750 grams. Now, a shopkeeper who is dishonest tells everyone that he will sell at 40 percent loss. So, again we take 1000 grams cost 1000 rupees. This is the cost price. So, this is the short term. He will tell everyone that he will sell at 40% loss, which means 1000 rupees, 40% loss is 400 rupees. He is telling everyone that he will sell at 600 rupees, but he is giving everyone 25% less. So, 750 grams, he is telling everyone that I am giving you 1000 grams for 40% less, which is a loss. So, he is telling everyone that I am giving 1000 grams at 600 rupees, but he is not giving 1000 grams, he is giving only 750 grams. 750 grams is giving at 600 rupees. So, this is his selling price. What is the cost price of 750 grams? 1000 grams is 1000 rupees, 750 grams is 750 rupees. This is cost price. Selling price is less than cost price, so it is a loss. It's equal to 750 minus 600, which is equal to 150. The loss is 150, loss percentage is equal to loss by CP into 100, 150 by 750 into 100 is 1 of 20 percent is loss. 
he is telling everyone that he is selling it at 40% loss but because he is weighing less he reduces his loss and his loss becomes 20%. A shopkeeper tells everyone that there is a clearance sale at X% percent loss but he weighs 25% less and hence get a, gets 20% profit. We kept 25% weighing less so that you understand how each question the weight is solved is different. Okay, 1000 grams is 1000 rupees. He is telling everyone that there is a clearance sale at X percent loss, but he is weighing. So, when is he getting 20 percent? So, he is weighing 25 percent less, which means he is only giving 750 grams. Okay, 750 grams is costing him 750 rupees. Correct? That is his cost price. Now he is getting 20% profit. What is 20% of 750? You simplify. 20% of 750 is 150 rupees. So 750 grams, he is not selling at 750. He is selling it at a profit of 150, which means 750 plus 150. 750 grams is selling it at 900 rupees. So, the loss percentage advertised by him, he is selling it at 900 rupees. So, he is telling everyone that what costs me 1000 rupees for 1000 grams, I am selling it at 900 rupees. That he is selling that it is a loss of 10% for me. But because he is weighing less and giving only 750, this becomes a profit. So 750 grams, I should have sold at 750, I am selling it at 900, which means there is a profit of 20%, profit of 150 rupees, profit of 20%, but he is advertising that as a loss. Again, I repeat, 1000 grams should have been, should have costed me 1000 rupees. Now, he is weighing 25% less, which means he is only giving 750 grams. 750 grams cost me 750 rupees. Yeah. But I am selling it at 20% profit. So what is 20% of 750? It is 150 rupees. So 750 grams I am not selling at 750 rupees. I am selling it at 900 rupees. I am making a profit of 20%. But I am telling people that I am giving it at 900 rupees. What is that? 1000 rupees, I am giving it to you at 900 rupees, I am giving it to you at a 10% loss. So, this is the loss percentage advertised by the shop, supermarket owner. On selling 18 apples at 1680, profit is equal to the cost price. How is profit equal to the cost price? What they are saying is something that will help you frame the equation. Selling price of 18 apples, so selling price of 18. Minus cost price of 18 is equal to the profit, right? It is the cost price of 3 apples. So, that cost price of 3. Okay, selling price of 18 apples minus the cost price of 18 apples is this is equal to the profit, right? So, but the profit is given as cost price of 3 apples. So, written that selling price of 18 apples is 1680 is equal to cost price of 3 apples plus cost price of 18 apples is cost price of 21 apples. Okay, so if you take the cost price of one apple as x, this changes to 21x. So x is equal to 1680 by 21. 21 ones are 21 eights. See, 28 is 160. So 21 eights is 160. This is 80. 80 rupees is the cost price of one apple. Hmm? Because it is x. Cost price of 10 apples is 10 into 80. 800 rupees. Next problem. A man bought a TV and DVD player for 15,000. He sold the TV and DVD player at 10%, 20% profit respectively. Okay. Let us say cost price of TV is equal to X, DVD is equal to Y. So he is saying 0.1% x 
okay point one which is ten percent of the pro, uh, profit on the sorry sorry so point one percent x which is the profit on the tv plus twenty percent profit on the dvd pair point two of y let us say that is the profit is z when you look at oh we have three equations and only two unknowns can we solve it of course we can let us see now with the profit percentages were interchanged why have i written this cost price of tv is x cost price of dvd is y 10 percent profit on tv is 0.1 x 20 percent profit on dvd is 0.2 y together that profit i have written it as z now we interchange the profit percentage instead of 0.1 x and I have to write 0.2x and instead of 0.2y, I have to write 0.1x. He says the profit would have been 500 rupees more. Initially it was z, now it is z plus 500. Okay. Now find the individual prices of the electronic goods. If I subtract, so sorry, this should have been y. If I subtract, I can replace z. I know the TV and DVD player for rupees 5000. So I know X plus Y is 15,000. Now when I subtract, I get 0.2X minus, so I get 0.1X minus 0.1Y is equal to 500. When I subtract, when I change signs here and subtract. If I multiply, so this is point one. This is one equation. This is another equation now. If I multiply this by 10, x minus y is equal to 5000. So x plus y is 15,000. x minus y is 5000. Then we get from these two equations. This is equation 2. This is equation 1. Uh, I get 2x is 20,000. x is 10,000. So my TV costs 10,000. And putting it in the other equation, we get y is equal to 5000. My DVD player cost me 5000. So I, I would love to know how you found this advanced set. If you want us to do more problems like this, because the simple problems are not what uh, will get you in those institutes and in those companies. This advanced set is particularly challenging. If you want more such advanced sets, visit our website www.sevensandstandard.com if you've liked our efforts so right from the basics absolute basics what is the uh, cost price what is the selling price to coming uh, here looking at basic problems intermediate problems advanced problems if you like the effort i suggest uh, and request rather to uh, visit our channel regularly like it subscribe click on the bell icon so that you don't miss on videos Tell it to your friends so that they too benefit. And like we said, if you could visit our website, sevensonstand.com, you would get more uh, advanced problems so that you can master profit and loss. Thank you for your love and attention. And we hope to see you soon once again.